love these buses. Oh, yummy. I like it. Jin Dobre, beautiful people from Warsaw, Poland. Good morning, beautiful people. Another day here in Poland. It's day two, and today we are going to be exploring a lot more places here in Warsaw. Actually, I really wish that I have more days here because there are a lot to discover, but I only have two days here. <laughs> so, after here, tomorrow I'll be catching a very early flight to my next country. I think. I think Poland is my sixth country. Yeah? Am I right? Netherlands, Belgium, Switzerland, Germany, a quick side trip, and then Paris. Oh yeah, Poland is the sixth country. Okay, so I've actually learned a few Polish words or phrases while I'm here. Um, Robert and Anya was the one teaching me what are the basic ones. So when you say thank you in Polish, that is dziękuję. Uh, and then dzień dobry is good morning. And then dobranot is good night. Um, oh, kochamcie! Kochamcie is I love you. So behind me, you guys can see here, it says I love kocham. So that means I love, uh, no, it says kocham. So kocham is I love and then Warsaw at the bottom. So this is the famous sign. If you guys are coming to Warsaw, you have to get a photo op right here. This place is very nice this is actually in the business district of warsaw it's very clean wow it's so beautiful as well like look at all the little trees the colors is now turning yellow it's so pretty look at the dog over there so cute this is Koham Warsawe. <laughs> so everyone welcome to Warsaw. Ta-da! So pretty. Build the world. Make it a better place. <laughs> for you and for me and the inside. There are people dying. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Alright guys, we just finished checking out the Uprising Museum. This is the very important museum that you have to check out as soon as you land in Warsaw because this is where you can learn more about Warsaw, the history, how it was being destroyed during World War II and how is it looking before. There was a 3D film which was totally unbelievable like how it was being destroyed and comparing it to today it is so crazy the resilience of Polish people how they built everything again wow so I actually got information overload in this uprising museum you can like see everything in there so I'd highly recommend for you guys to check it out I'm not very good in sharing history and all that but I just want to share. I've learned a lot um, in this museum and you have to come here. Okay, now we're on to the next exploration for today's video. I think we're gonna have to grab something to drink 
like a tea. I have never drunk so many tea in a day in my life since I landed in Europe. Like, because of how cold it is, actually today I'm very grateful that it's not as cold because yesterday I was very uncomfortable. The coldest temperature ever. I think also it's because of the wind. But yeah, we're gonna grab some tea. So let's go. Hello guys, we are back here in the Palace of Culture and Science. It's actually behind me. It's really huge. And I think we're gonna go up today because it's more clear, it's not too foggy, so we can go up above. As you guys can see, this is how the cars before here in Poland. The plate number is in yellow because it's an antique one and Nisa is the name of it. Look, as you guys can see, now we're gonna take a look of the other car that was commonly seen here around in Poland before. It's actually pretty interesting to see it. It's very cute and very small as well. So 90% of the cars that you see on the road over there before is this car. Ta-da! <laughs> Look how small it is. What? Look at that. It's so cute. It doesn't even look like a working car. It looks like the car that's being played by kids nowadays. So as you guys can see, yellow plate number as well. And here it says Polska Fiat. <laughs> I want a picture of this. This is so cute. Wow. And now, after how many years, the everyone's, you know, technology is um, developing. So yeah, this is now uh, in the history but this is so cool that they still res uh, preserve it you know so then if you want to look back on the history of Poland you will learn that these are the cars that they used before so cute <laughs> we are now on the 30th floor of the palace. This is where you can have a 360 degree view of the entire city. It's so cool. Uh, this is where you can see all of the tall buildings around the city. And it's a very nice view. I love this um, see the lights. If you come here at night, I think it would be a really nice view as well. But the sun is coming out. I'm so happy. It's not very cold. floor Ta-da! so you guys can see over here it's a bit foggy it is still cold there's a rotunda over here this is how it looks wow look at the cars they look so small it's like a toy car and the people looks like ants walking look they're so small Hello everyone, it's time for lunch. Right now we are here at Cheska. It's a restaurant right next to the building we were earlier, which was the palace. So now I'm trying out another Polish dish. This is called golonka. So it's a huge pork hot, I believe. 
and then it has actually beer I think they just pour like beer towards the end of the cooking process so I'm gonna try this one out it looks really huge like look at that but also there's a really big bone inside as well like all of this here it's like all bones so let's try it looks very tender Whoa. oh my gosh Whoa. it's so tender actually oh bon appetit let's eat guys let's eat mm. wow surprisingly good the meat is very tender it actually tastes like pork ribs so good I actually tried uh, two different pickles in Mishinitz. The other one I didn't like, and this one. I might like this, let's see. This one is like quite normal. It's not as strong the one that I didn't like. It's got bread as well, cabbage, salad. Mm. I like the salad, it's good. The pork is so good. Mm. So yummy! Like everywhere you go in a restaurant in Europe, it's always big serving. One last bite. Mm. Mm. We just finished with our lunch everyone and look at this. The sun is out in Poland. Now I can see the beauty of it. It's so beautiful with the sun reflecting all of the nice trees in the park. Okay, so earlier we actually, um, I tried to pay for our lunch guys. <laughs> I tried to pay the bill. Unfortunately, my car declined. So I will have to sort that one out. Actually, right now we're looking for a Western Union because I needed to send some money to my mom. She needs, um, she needs it. It's very important. So yeah hopefully i'd be able to do it because my card my bank just declined my transaction this is a problem uh, if i'm not going to be able to use my card good luck to me i still have around three four countries left after poland so yeah i mean it should be okay everything will be fine <laughs> Walk now. Walk to the end. How many kilometers? 1047 kilometers we are now in the Vistula river the longest river in poland you can see this around warsaw Ta -da! i'm putting my gloves on it's so cold now it's getting cold actually i could still see it look at the bridge Ta -da! i'm not sure if it's this bridge that the train will go in or not i think it's the second one but it's so beautiful it's like the the one in california <laughs> california bridge this is their version of it okay the hand bridge you guys can see the national stadium we are actually heading there okay, that's where they would normally do the football and concerts as well and again if you guys are a football fa uh, fans then you know robert Lewandowski yeah he's a famous uh, football player so at night they actually have lights that's white and red which obviously their national flag so we're gonna check it out I know it's gonna be a huge one 
So, let's go. <laughs> Wow, that's so huge. Look, if Scarlett's here, she would be happy. Look, there's another metro over there. Yeah? Hello everybody, we made it to the National Stadium of Warsaw. Look how huge it is and yes, it's so beautiful at night because you guys can see the red and white lights. So there are actually 52,000 seats inside and also most of the big concerts is held here, especially uh, the bigger stars um, from Poland, like Polish um, superstars and uh, this is where they also held like the football so if you guys are gonna do if they're gonna do a concert here it can accommodate around 70,000 people well that's how huge it is and I think this is the very first stadium that has uh, a center stage that will turn with a 360 degree view so that is very epic <laughs> okay it's getting really chilly right now i think we're gonna take a tram going back okay guys we have to go back there now we're gonna get a ticket for the train time ticket so 20 minutes two people buy 6.80 zwoti pay in credit card and i tap where do i tap here Please wait. Oh, that was very quick. Ticket is printing in progress. Oh, so th I used my credit card for this. This means to say the restaurant actually charged me then. Because it's working. Or not. I think it's working. It's printing. Let's see. Oh, I got the ticket already. See? So my card is working. Oh, no. We got double charge in the restaurant. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ta-da! Here? something like this because normally it's when you get out and then you get in then you have to pay but this it's good for 20 minutes and also the trains here are very uh, nice like it's very clean It looks very 
small thin sausage. I think this is dried, so I'm gonna have to try this one tonight. And over here they have a lot of different breads that I do love. I have been eating bread every single day since I landed in Europe. Especially here in uh, Poland, they don't normally eat rice, so it's always potatoes and bread. So tomorrow we're gonna grab muffin. This is chocolate. The other one is as well. What else? Maybe. Let's see. Ooh, look at this guys. They have barsh. Can you guys remember? I tried barsh yesterday. It was like a beetroot soup. So they also had it here and it's in a packet. So you can just put hot water and then you will have a soup. This is good. We'll have this one as well. And what else did we get? It's pretty interesting, all of the stuff they have here. So they also have Fanta. Um, let's see if they have some Gatorade. Ah, they don't have Gatorade. Okay. Ooh, they have Tom Yum. Oh my gosh, this is very good. I'm gonna eat that one tonight. Okay, good bread. I might need to get a bread then to pair that with it. Oh my gosh, they have Tom Yum, guys. Tom Yum, Mama Noodles. <laughs> Look, this is how it looks inside. It's like their 7 Eleven, I believe. So, every little thing that you like is here. All right, people, I just finished with my dinner. I had Mama Noodles, found it in Jabka. Good job. <laughs> it was very good. And I had bread as well. It's over here. And now, I found this. Uh, mojito beer so it's beer that is flavored with tequila first time I've seen something like this it is called Desperados if you guys have tried this one let me know but I will have to try it I'm not really into drinking as most of you know but to try it's okay at least I can say I've tried it so it's got 6% alcohol all right cheers for my last night in Poland. Ugh. <clears throat> it is very strong, like a beer. I can actually taste the mojito, but not my favorite. Like, I'm not really into alcohol, but. Mm. Mm. So strong. Bitter. <laughs> 